Here's a lesson on how to use the vernier caliper. This is a vernier caliper that allows you to measure down to, that's the level of precision that it gives, 0.05 millimeters to the nearest 0.05 millimeters. We have two sets of numbers here on the scale, and I'm not talking different units. There are different units as well. So we have the inch scale, the inch scale up here, and it's usually written over here, and then the metric side down here, or I guess I should say U.S. customary side up here, and metric down here. So as you look at this, we have two sets of numbers since we're going to be doing metric because we're cool. We have two sets of numbers here. We have the numbers 0 through 0 up here, or 0 through 10, depending on how you want to look at it. And then we have another set of numbers here. From this point to that point is 10 millimeters. From that point to that point is 80 millimeters, or 8 centimeters. When they are pressed together like that, the zeros should line up on the bottom. And it might be just a little bit off. Sometimes you have to press hard. So as I expand it, the way that the vernier caliper works is you look to see where the zero lines up. And let's not have it line up perfectly yet. We'll save that one. There we go. You look to see where this zero lines up. That zero is lined up between 30 and 31. Now some vernier calipers will have centimeters on the scale, in which case it would be between 3 and 3.1, but this is millimeters, so it's between 30 and 31. So in terms of the distance, I would write down, it's between 30 and 31, so I'd write down 30 millimeters plus. Now to get the next two digits is I look to see which of these lines down here lines up best with a line right above it. I want to have it set up so that we don't have the parallax, but I'm trying to see which of these lines down on the bottom scale lines up best with, best with one right above it. So I'm going to take this off screen for a second so that I can actually see what it is. We have some indication if I just look by eye about where the zero is lined up, it's a little bit less than halfway, uh, roughly a third of the way. So that gives me some clue about which one of these will line up the best. And then I start looking down the scale right here to see which one lines up the best. Now as I look at it, it looks like this line right between the three and the four lines up the best. It, it does to me. Now if I have it set a slight tilt there, then you might see a different number. So that's why parallax can be incredibly important depending upon how many lives are at stake. So if you're putting a man on the moon, then please make sure that you, you're incredibly precise here. Building bridges for you future civil engineers. So as I look at it, each of these little marks right here represents 0.05 millimeters. So that would be 0, 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.3, 0 0.35, 0 0.4, 0 0.45, 0.55, 0.55, and so on. And this one looks like it's lined up the best, and so that'd be 0.35. So that's 30 millimeters plus 0.35 millimeters. So it's 30.35 millimeters. I'm going to arbitrarily just pick another spot. And so this one is the zero lines up between the, it looks like almost at the 11, but just past the 11. So it's going to be 11 point something. And then I look to see what lines up the best. And from my point of view, it looks like this one lines up the best. And so in that case, the distance would be 11.10 millimeters. That right there, it has significance because it's to the nearest 0 0.05 millimeters. If I just wrote 11.1, .1, that could mean 11.05 or 11.15, but no, it's closer to 11.10 than 15 or 05. Let's do another one where it's a little bit nebulous. All right, so I shifted it over slightly. And notice that this zeroes line, it looks like it lines up really well with the 11 itself. And the question is, is that a little bit less than 11? So it's 10.9 something, or is that a little bit more than 11? Like 11.05. And so you look to see what lines up the best. So I know it's going to be somewhere around 11. I just not 100% sure. So I started looking down here to see what lines up. It looks like that zero lines up the best with it. 
which means that it's not 11.11 11 plus one millimeter. It means it's 11 exactly. If So that zero should also line up. I know it's not 12 and it's not 10, but if the two zeros both line up the best, then it is that number exactly. So that would be 11.00. So now let's take an actual object. We'll see how big the fin top is. So you just pull, pull it out. These also come with, this is supposed to be a locking mechanism right here, but it's plastic, so it doesn't work particularly well, but that would lock it into place so that when you're hanging it around, it doesn't accidentally slip. And this wheel right here on a really nice one would allow it for really precise changes in distance, but again, it doesn't work particularly great. And so the length of this pin cap, I'm looking to see where the zero lines up. And that is between 58 and 59, so it's 58 point something. And now I see which of these lines up the best with any line right above it. Uh, so it's closer to 59 than 58, so it should be somewhere down here. Yeah, it looks like the 7 to me looks like it lines up the best. Uh, with the camera, who knows what it's actually seeing. Who knows if it's even clearer. But the seven lines up the best, so this would be 58.70 millimeters. Two other ways of using it. If I'm measuring inside diameter, let's say I have a coaster right here, and I want to measure the inside diameter. That's what these are for. So I would expand it there. I don't want to, you know, basically eyeball it like that, which is not easy to do. Use this inside, use that, and that should tell you that the inside diameter is 81 point looks like 81.65 millimeters and the other thing that you can do is you're measuring the depth of something is you have this right here so if I take I want to measure the depth of that hole right there I basically I'm using the metal part And so that is on the bottom of that hole. I push down till it, it stops. And so that distance right there should be the same depth as that hole. So the hole is in between 11 and 12. So about halfway in between. So I'm looking halfway here. Uh, actually, it looks like it is halfway in between. So that five to me looks like it aligns over the best. You could make an easy argument for four five instead of five zero. Oh but it's 11.45 millimeters or 11.50 millimeters, depending upon which one of those you feel is closer to lining up perfectly. And that is the basics of vernier calipers. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there as well, besides this one, about how to use it. So look up as you need.